There are so many benefits to having a pet. They manage to bring so much pleasure into our lives. However, not everyone understands the bond between human and beast, especially when they're rare and perhaps just not normal, whatever that means. But what if your pet looks like a fish with arms and legs, like the axolotl? Or a fox with giant ears from the African desert called the finnick fox? What if you want to cuddle up to a giant rodent in your own bed like the capybara? Even jumping spiders can be yours too. Here are 15 of the cutest exotic animals you can own as pets. Bruce likes to cuddle with his owner. These make very good pets. Number 15. A Xanthic Superconda Western Hognose Snake. So you're thinking about getting a pet snake. Maybe you think having a pet snake would be kind of cool. Well, they are. How much work could they be, right? They sit in a tank, they're cold-blooded, and they don't really need a lot of attention, right? Might be perfect. But just try finding this beauty. The Xanthic Superconda Western Hognose Snake. All those words together add up to one super rare, genetically singular slithering wonder snake. The western hognose snake is classified as a superconda. It's light colored and patternless, which makes this snake exanthic, a form of albinism, which means the skin does not contain any visible color pigments. The western hognose snake is a relatively small, stout bodied snake, usually, although there are different variations with this species. Most specimens appear much like rattlesnakes to the untrained eye, so if you ever came across one, it would be an easy mistake. And always treat the situation with caution and keep a safe distance. However, compared to a dog or a cat, you're right to think that a snake will be an easier pet. With no need to be walked, there's no hair to shed, and they mostly keep to their cages. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly! Number 14. Halloween Moon Crabs Feeling crabby? Then this little crab is for you. Can a crab be considered cute? We think so. Halloween moon crabs, found in mangrove, sand dunes, and rainforests along the Pacific coast closer to the equator, have a lifespan of 8 to 10 years. But to keep them alive in your home, the enclosures need both fresh and saltwater pools that are big enough to climb in and out of, but not deep enough to drown. These crabs do not swim. They're used to having access to both land and sea, Moon crabs must have access to water at all times to moisten their gills. They do quite well in captivity, but do require constant attention. Being nocturnal, moon crabs sleep during the day and come out at night. So depending on your lifestyle, maybe the Halloween moon crab is the perfect pet for the night owls out there. And like humans, each moon crab has their own attitude and behavior. So crab experts suggest handling your pet crab every day so that it will get used to human interaction. We don't want a crabby crab. Halloween crabs have pincers, so watch out. Some may want to pinch or steer clear of you, and then there are other crabs who aren't shy at all. Number 13. Lowland Streaked Tenrix. Crossing that thin line between adorable and atrocious, we bring you Lowland Streaked Tenrix from Madagascar. Where do we begin? They look like this strange hybrid of bumblebee, hedgehog, rodent with a bird beak creature. And frankly, hopefully you find in your heart to find the inner beauty is really the most important thing when considering this as the perfect pet for you. They will bite, so experts suggest to handle them consistently from a young age just so they get used to you. And maybe you can build a bond with this unusual beauty. Its diet is made up of primarily earthworms, stamping its feet into the ground with its forepaws to increase earthworm activity for easier foraging. Tenrics are unique among mammals because they can use stridulation, body language, to communicate. Their spines rub together to make a hissing, scraping sound as a warning. So be warned, if you hear the tenrics hiss, tenrics are hard to find because they're not a species commonly bred as pets. They don't breed readily in captivity. In addition, it can be difficult to find a veterinarian who understands these quirky creatures. They're a highly uncommon pet originating from another part of the world. Number 12. Goofy Crested Geckos The next thing about this great gecko is that its existence has only been known for a very short time. 
and since their discovery, they've become quite a popular gecko to bring home as a pet, originally from New Caledonia, a group of islands between Fiji and Australia. Even more remarkable crested geckos were once thought to be extinct, but were rediscovered around 1994. Since then, their popularity as pets has only continued to grow. And check out their eyelashes, one of their distinctive characteristics, hence why they're also known as eyelash geckos. Crested geckos are ideal reptiles for first-time pet owners. They're low-maintenance, well-suited for children or novice lizard owners. Because crested geckos are primarily tree dwellers, they make outstanding displays in naturalistic vivariums. They're usually very pretty, however care is required when handling. They don't usually like it. Crested geckos may drop their tails if handled roughly or to attempt the getaway. But unlike other geckos, they'll not regenerate their tails. They come in various colors with distinctive markings. They get their name from the fringed crest that begins over their eyes and runs down their necks and backs. Number 11. Madagascar Hissing Cockroaches Not to be confused with your commonplace house roach, measuring 2 to 3 inches long, hissing cockroaches have no wings, so they're great for keeping your new pets safe in their enclosures. And although the roaches hail from the exotic island of Madagascar, off the coast of Africa, they're available for purchase as a pet pretty much anywhere. Are hissing cockroaches the must-have pet? Maybe not, but they are readily available to buy and are arguably one of the more obscure and unique pets you could own. The Madagascar hissing cockroach is not to be confused with your commonplace house roach. These insects use their spinacles to produce the hissing sound that inspired their name. They will hiss when disturbed, and males also hiss when courting females. Sometimes a whole colony will hiss in unison, for reasons that are as yet unclear to researchers. Hissers force air through the spinacles to produce all of their various hissing sounds. One call is used to attract a mate, another is used when the cockroach is feeling threatened, known as the disturbance hiss, and a third is known as a warning, used when a male cockroach is preparing to attack another male. But don't worry, their bark, we mean hiss, is a lot worse than their bite. Number 10. Cute Box Turtles Although they're super cute and look like a great pet, box turtles are actually quite commonplace. Like every pet, they require some serious thought before you bring them home. Younger box turtles can flourish indoors in a smaller enclosure, but they do grow and it's best if you have a terrarium or custom space outdoors for the box turtle to make its happy home. And in case of sunshine shortage, it will also need a basking heat source and an ultraviolet light. Box turtles are not easy to care for or low-maintenance pets, and they have been known to live for more than 50 years. So commitment is key when raising one. They're also not exactly cuddly. In fact, box turtles aren't too fond of being handled at all. Your pet turtle will most likely just close up into its shell if your cuddles are too intense, and if it doesn't close up, a box turtle will often flail its legs if you don't support its underside. And don't forget about its claws, because they're sharp. Also, they bite when they feel attacked, and when the box turtle cuteness factor ceases to mystify, you gotta remember, wild ones can carry salmonella. This is the bacteria that causes food poisoning. Number 9. Tiny Jumping Spiders Spiders get a bad reputation, we think, but there are people in the world who love them, and what's not to love about a pet tiny jumping spider? And if you do your research, it could be yours. Even these super cute but very venomous tiny jumping spiders. In addition to being fun to watch, jumping spiders are interesting creatures too, and they make great pets, believe it or not, even though they have a brain the size of a poppy seed. But don't let their size fool you. They're able to quickly form associations with their human owners. They teach themselves through their own version of spider trial and error, and this is completely mind-blowing. Jumping spiders can navigate in virtual reality. They further impress us by planning prey capture tactics ahead of time, adjusting their hunting behavioral based on how the prey responds, another example of its spidey senses. This means they're an intelligent and interactive pet. Some jumping spiders' owners claim that they have trained their tiny arachnids. How venomous are they? There are no jumping spiders that have venom potent enough to cause any trouble for humans. There is absolutely no reason to be afraid of them. They eat many pesky insects. Number 8. The Serval Now, there are cat lovers, and then there are exotic cat lovers, taking their love for the favorite family pet to the next level, the exotic Serval Cat. And frankly, we get it. This is an impressive cat. 
They look similar to a leopard and not much bigger than a medium-sized dog. But the word on the street is that they're high maintenance, difficult to control, and dangerous to humans and other pets. They're not easily house trained either and will frequently spray their pungent scent to mark their territory. These challenges owning a serval cat are probably because they retain most of their wild instincts. Plus, they're expert escape artists. They're extremely strong and fast. In the wild, servals will leap high into the air to catch flying birds and can slap fish hard enough to stun them. Serval cats can be bottle raised and hand fed. Typically, they're a one human cat and bond for life. In ancient Egypt, the serval was an exotic import from sub-Saharan Africa. When it was depicted in Egyptian art, it was frequently as a gift or trade object from Nubia. Serval cats are considered wild animals, and there are many restrictions surrounding their ownership in several U.S. states and other countries. Number 7. Leopard Geckos Until recent years, the leopard gecko was the most commonly kept lizard in the U.K. Leopard geckos make fantastic pets. They're not demanding, and it's simple to make them a sufficient home. You're going to need to provide a light source to recreate a sun and keep the enclosure warm. And at night, you can keep the leopard gecko warm with a heat pad. You'll need to provide hiding places and low, sturdy branches or rocks for climbing so that the leopard gecko feels right at home in their naturalistic enclosure. Outside of easily feeding them insects and the only water they need is a water bowl with fresh water, they're great pets for the whole family due to their docile, placid nature. But get used to having them around. Although they never grow to be a large reptile, they can live for 10 to 20 years in captivity, so be ready for a commitment. When you first bring home your leopard gecko, you can socialize it by gently handling it, but don't overdo it. Humans can stress the animal out, and their tails are their greatest communicators. If you have more than one leopard gecko in an enclosure, keep an eye out for tail waving. The leopard gecko could feel threatened and is about to attack. Number 6. The Kawadi Mundi The Kawadi Mundi, or hog-nosed coon, are closely related to the raccoon. They share several physical and behavioral traits with this animal, but coatis are recognizable for their distinct long nose. Keeping it as a pet is not legal in every country. In fact, it is allowed in most South American countries, for instance, but not in European countries such as Spain, as they are considered an invasive species. So before you adopt one, check your local regulations. The babies are called kittens, but as soon as they reach adulthood, they can change. Males are more dangerous than females, but don't mess with a mother and her litter of Cody kittens. Cody Mundis also have very developed fangs. Their claws are also sharp and dangerous in the domestic environment, especially around children. These pets even need their own room if you decide to get one, tamper-proof cage with enough environmental enrichment within. And if you do keep a Cody as a pet, You'll need to wear thick gloves to avoid being bitten when handling it, as these animals move extremely quick and they're smart and curious. If you live in a region where Cody's live, you can simply leave some food out and they'll pull up to you. Number 5. Tiny Baby Chameleons If you're triggered by cuteness, then we're officially warning you. Baby chameleons have to be the cutest thing on earth, and they do make great pets. It's all really about the habitat you create when you bring your baby chameleon home. Your nearest pet store should have a suitable sized cage, perhaps similar size to a rodent's cage, when the chameleon is young, but they do grow to be quite large. It's recommended for babies to keep them in small enclosures until they grow a little and then move them to a larger one. In order for them to regulate their body temperatures, chameleon owners will need an ultraviolet light and some heat lamps to give the chameleon the best chance to stay warm or cool. But do not forget to turn off the lights during the night. An expert suggests finding some branches, rocks, and some fresh water. It's very important to decorate the cage nicely. Adding the plants is a very crucial step in making the perfect setup for your baby chameleon. And you can't forget to take a million pictures of your new baby balancing on the end of your finger. The internet loves that. Maybe set up some social media accounts for your new pet. Number 4. Cutest Finnick Fox Finnick foxes dwell deep in dens in the sandy Sahara and elsewhere in North Africa. And when they're little like this, how could you not want one for a pet? While it's the smallest fox in the world, the Phoenix fox possesses undeniable cuteness. And as your pet, they have a lifespan of up to 14 years. Its most distinctive feature is its unusually large ears, which also serve to help distribute heat throughout their bodies. Their large ears and sensitive hearing means that they can hear prey moving underground. 
mainly insects, small mammals, but they'll also eat a bird if they're lucky enough to catch one. Finnick foxes are social and made for life. However, the species usually breeds once a year. The typical litter is between one and four kits. When born, the kit's ears are folded over and its eyes are closed. The eyes open at around 10 days old and the ears lift soon afterwards. Like regular dogs, baby Finnick foxes bark as well as whimper and whine to communicate. They also have long, thick hair that insulates them during cold nights and protects them from hot sun during the day. Even the fox's feet are hairy, which helps them perform like snowshoes and protects them from extremely hot sand. Number 3. Garter Snakes Snakes are a very popular pet, but many of them can be dangerous. If they're not trying to swallow you whole, they might be trying to choke you. But there is a snake that's universally great if you're not considering a pet snake. Garter snakes are small snakes that are not constrictors. They do not pose any dangers to humans other than salmonella, which can be carried by any reptile. They're very alert and active. In the wild, they're often found around water, streams, rivers, lakes, and marshes. However, in your house, a terrarium or aquarium-style cage could work just fine, decorated with wood and vines for the snake to climb around on. As far as feeding, most garter snake keepers use frozen rodents, which give the snake a complete nutritional meal. However, in the wild, garters would eat worms, amphibians, fish, and rodents, so feel free to switch it up come mealtime. They're active during the day, so they have excellent eyesight, which they use along with their keen sense of smell to find and capture prey. Most garter snakes won't bite you. Instead, they'll prefer to spray a musk to ward off danger. And they're also small, only growing between 23 to 30 inches long typically. Number 2. Capybara These social, super unique, almost cow-like creatures are native to South America but have been making an appearance in the United States and in people's homes too, believe it or not. These animals are a member of the guinea pig family and they can grow to huge sizes. This rodent grows up to 140 pounds on a diet of grass and yes, they eat their own poop. So although feeding them won't be expensive, actually getting your hands on one is another story. They're not cheap, as well as being unusual and hard to buy. If you can find one offered for sale, you may have to shell out thousands of dollars to pay for it. And in order to do it legally, you must have a license for your pet, which ensures that your home, garden, and facilities are suitable for a capybara to live in. In their natural habitat, they spend most of their time in the water. So you're going to want to make sure you can offer the same creature comforts that they're used to. They're well adapted to a waterlogged life. They even have little webs between their toes. And their eyes and nostrils and ears are all on top of their head. So they can be completely submerged underwater. Number 1. The Axolotl the axolotl, also known as the Mexican walking fish, is a salamander, not a fish, but an amphibian. Axolotls are unusual among amphibians in that they reach adulthood without undergoing metamorphosis. So that means instead of taking to the land, adults keep their gills and stay in the water. Three pairs of external gill stalks originate behind their heads and are used to moving oxygenated water. And you can see why they make such a special pet. However, they're not pets you handle, but they're obviously so fun to watch swimming around your tank. They're relatively easy to care for and hardy, which makes them suitable for beginner pet owners. Plus, their dietary needs are fairly straightforward. They're meat eaters, so feeding them at home requires some bait worms, which are commonly available at your pet supply store. If you feel like giving your axolotl a treat, try frozen shrimp or a ball of raw hamburger meat. The most fascinating feature of the axolotl is its capability of regeneration of entire lost appendages, such as a tail, limb, central nervous system, and tissues of the eye and heart. They can also accept transplants from other individuals, including eyes and parts of the brain. Those were 15 exotic animals you can own as pets. Thanks for watching.